So what's the truth behind SHBG and free testosterone? So, so often you'll hear guys that will say, I've got low SHBG, how do I raise it? Or I've got high SHBG, how do I lower it? SHBG is a protein that helps shuffle your testosterone all around the body. There's something called bioavailable testosterone, which is another protein called albumin that also binds to testosterone. That's called your bioavailable testosterone. That one disassociates more easily. So you can have testosterone floating around your body with these proteins, taking them to all the tissues that you need. There have been some recent research showing that spawn the SHBG, it might be, not be completely dead. It might travel in and out of the cell. I don't think we're very clear on exactly its, its full mechanism. So by happen chance that if you were to use a strong androgen, some people will have a higher SHBG or a lower SHBG and taking certain androgenic substances giving you more free testosterone. One thing to keep in mind though, some of the men with the lowest levels of sex hormone binding globulin tend to have a higher linkage to some, some sort of metabolic syndrome, so more of a, a diabetic profile. On the opposite side, with the MASH, or what they used to call non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, those men tend to sometimes have higher SHBG. And SHBG tends to increase as we age. I've known of people naturally having total testosterone levels, you know, around 43 nanomoles per liter, but having a high SHBG, but still having an, uh, a good amount, 0 0.49, 0 0.5 nanomoles per liter of free testosterone. So SHBG is one of those things that if you have too high or too low, it's not optimal you want to be just right in the Goldilocks zone. For more information on SHBG and all things testosterone, hormone and hormone balancing and even peptides, that's why you should like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.